What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I will be showing you how to obtain the unique Dwemer artifact named Keening and more importantly a very underrated conjuration spell that gives you the best follower in the game. It's called Arniel Shade. He is almost invincible and he does lots of damage as well. And I'll tell you more about him later on in the video, after we've actually got him. But you may have realised that this unique dagger called Keening looks incredibly cool. And it's also got a very useful enchantment on it, which makes it one of the most versatile daggers in the game. And also among the most powerful. But before I give you some tips on how to use it, I should probably show you guys how to acquire these items. So the quest we need to complete in order to get this dagger and, and the unique spell is called Arniel's Endeavour. This quest has several parts to it and it's going to take us quite a long time to complete unless you already have all the necessary items to do it. This is why I made an easy to follow walkthrough for you guys to watch. But I do also suggest subscribing or favouriting this video so you can find it again in the future as you probably won't get through the entire quest in one sitting. So to start this quest, we must first talk to Arniel. You will find him at the College of Winterhold, just here in the north reaches of the map. And to actually get this quest from him, you must have already joined the Mages Guild and completed the first two quests. One quest is called First Lessons, and then the next quest is called Under Sarthau. The game literally holds your hand through both of these quests, so it's really not hard to do at all. After these two quests are completed, Arniel Gain will then show up at the College of Winterhold. He will usually be found in the Hall of Attainment, which is to your left as you enter the college. Just proceed inside and head up the stairs and you'll find him in the first room on the right or just sitting on the landing just here. I'm working on some very important research, I assure you. Excuse me, Enther. So after you talk to Arniel and ask him if he needs any help with this project, he will task you with finding and collecting 10 Dwemer Cogs. And this is very, very easy to do if you know where to go, especially if you're a filthy thieving Khajiit like me. The first and fastest way of getting these cogs is to fast travel to the far west of Skyrim, over here on the map to the city of Markov. Now remember that you can just use the horse and carriage to get here if you've not visited the city before. Anyway, once you do arrive in the city, head up the stairs to the Understone Keep. Once we are within the keep walls, go right. Priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Haunt. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Where is the best place in the game to find Dwemer Cogs ESO? Why, the Dwarven Museum, of course. In fact, there are over 15 Dwemer Cogs located in this museum, making the first part of the quest pretty damn easy. Just walk past the guard, get into sneak mode and pick the lot. The tricky part about this museum is it's patrolled by three guards, but don't worry because there are three ways to deal with this. Firstly, you can literally just go in in sneak mode and then go around and loot your 10 Dwemer Cogs. And if you get caught, you only get charged about 5 gold for trespassing, so it's not even a problem. Most of these cogs are going to be on the right hand side as you enter, just in this area here. And this area is usually not even patrolled by the guards, so it's very easy just to take 10 cogs and then run away. Secondly though guys, you can easily just assassinate all the guards in the room, so you can more easily loot the 10 cogs needed for the quest. This really isn't necessary though, it's just fun. And the third option guys, is you can actually obtain permission from a elf named Caselmo. And to find him, just enter the museum and this time go left. If you're actually level 15, he may have already invited you to the museum already. But Caselmo can usually be found on this enchanting altar just here. And we're just going to talk to him about his museum and he's going to give us a quest that we can complete to get permission to enter it properly. I'll let you in if you agree to something for me. There's a giant spider in a Chuanzel. My workers call her Nimhi. 
poisoned one. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both the excavation site and my Dwemer Museum. If you've already looted the museum previously for some random reason, you can also get the required 10 cogs from exploring other Dwemer ruins, but obviously this is going to take you a little bit longer. So once you've obtained all 10 Dwemer cogs, just return back to the College of Winterhold and talk to your pal Arniel again. from your family, I believe. No. I'm working on some very important research. I've got the ten cogs you ask for. Uh, ah, that's excellent news. This will be most helpful in furthering my research. I'm afraid I can't offer you much right now, but please take this. And perhaps, if this is all successful... Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It's too early to be getting excited. Still, this is most encouraging. Thank you again. If I require anything else, I shall be sure and let you know. Do you need any more help with your project? As a matter of fact, there is something you can do for me. I had retained Enther's services in uh, acquiring something specific, but now he's refusing to deliver. Could you perhaps speak with him and see if we can come to some sort of arrangement? So now we All must right go and then. talk to Enther. He can usually be found in the Hall of Attainment as well. Or if not, you'll find him in the Frozen Hearth Even pub, which is in Winterhold. I understand that you have something of Arniel's. Oh dear. He's so afraid to talk to me, he's sending you to do it? I should have expected as much. I'm afraid you've been a little misinformed. I have something of mine that I was going to sell to Arniel. You think you can do what he can't, and I'll sell it to you. Then you're free to run off to him with it, if you like. What is it you want? I have a friend, let's say, who's interested in a staff. A particular one. It's nothing dangerous, so don't worry. I'm not even sure why he wants it, but then that's not really my concern. He's willing to pay for it. The problem is that it'll be a little difficult to acquire, seeing as how it's in the hands of someone who isn't exactly friendly. So you bring that staff back here and I'll consider it payment for the item Arniel was after. Mm -hmm. So you will now be sent to a random location to retrieve the staff of Tandil. Just make sure that Arniel's Endeavor is your active quest, so the quest marker just tells you where to go. It could literally be any of about 20 different locations. So just head over to whatever location you've been sent to and go and retrieve the star. It will be marked and usually hidden at the end of a dungeon somewhere. For me, I had to kill a named boss in order to acquire it. He just had it on his corpse. So once we actually have the staff guys, we need to fast travel back to the College of Winterhold and return it to Enther in exchange for that warped soul gem. There are some experiments the College frowns on, if they're aware of them. I have your staff here. Well, well. Alright, you delivered on your end, so I'll deliver on mine. Here's the gem Arniel was after. Can't imagine what he expects to do with that. It's warped beyond any ability to capture a soul. Do you? Wonderful. I was afraid I'd have to give up. And when I'm so close. Thank you for this. I have a great deal of work ahead of me. We are over halfway through the quest now guys, but in order to continue the rest of the quest, you must first complete the Eye of Magnus. This is basically the final quest for the Major skill. so if you have not finished that quest line yet, just favourite this video and come back when you have, because after completing the Eye of Magnus quest, you'll then be able to continue this one. So once done, go and talk to Arniel again. The exact nature of my research is a secret. How's your project going? Terrible, just terrible. 
I vastly underestimated the heat transfer necessary, and have destroyed my only working model. I'm at a loss. Um, did you account for the, uh, extra coefficient introduced by the, um, Don't patronize uh... me. Look, it's all very simple. The Dwemer, they were, uh, masters of magic in a way we can't even begin to conceive of. Their greatest achievement, however, has also been their greatest, shall we say, mystery. And what mystery is that? Their disappearance, of course. Instant, unexplainable. The stories have fascinated me. Ever since I was young, I wanted to know what really happened. After years and years of work, I'm closing in on a way to investigate what happened through experimentation. Only now, well, it's simply a disaster. What went wrong? Without boring you with the uh, details, I'm attempting to recreate the circumstances of the event. The dwarves were very clever, tapping into and drawing power from the heart of Lorcan itself. Lacking the heart of a dead god myself, I was attempting to substitute a rather specific soul gem, the uh, one you helped me acquire. And what won't work? Well, yes, I mean, no. That is, it might. But I'm not completely sure. I'm no tonal architect. I've only read their writings. Scraps, really. The soul gem by itself isn't enough, you see. It needs to be altered, purified. The dwarves had machines for this sort of thing. I've attempted to build my own, based on designs and using parts you helped to provide. My very own dwarven convector. It worked, but not fully. And the, uh, the device was destroyed in the process. Can you build another? Hmm? No, no, no! I'm too close now. Can't take the time. Though, perhaps there's another option. I, um, I may require further assistance from you. What's in it for me? Well, I... Don't you see? Unlocking this mystery. The story alone is worth more riches than you can even imagine. And perhaps... Well, I don't wish to speculate, but... What if we could contact the dwarves? What if they're still out there? Imagine. Okay, what do you want me to do? Well, yes. The designs for my convector were based on real dwarven machines, so there may still be some in existence. I'd go looking myself, but... Uh, yes, there are calculations to double and triple check. Uh, many calculations. Perhaps you could seek out these convectors in Skyrim ruins. I could even teach you the spell to heat them. It's very particular and very important. All right, teach me your spell and I'll see what I can do. Wonderful, just wonderful. I knew I could count on you. Now, this spell is not for defending yourself, but it's just right for heating the convector. At least three seconds burn is necessary. Just place the soul gem inside and heat the convector. At least three seconds. You'll almost certainly need to find multiple convectors. I suspect it may be due to the nature of the soul gem versus the crystals this was intended for. Destroys the equipment in the process. But, ah, it's effective. Three times, and the crystal should be ready for the next step. Isn't this exciting? So we must now fast travel to a Dwemer dungeon in order to find a Dwemer convector. There are several places that you can find these Dwemer convectors all over Skyrim. But the best place to come to and the fastest way possible to do this is just come over here on the map to Mazolf. And ESO, you've probably just butchered that name, but let's carry on. As you can see, there are two convectors right next to one another. So firstly, we're just going to enter the main dungeon on the left, Mazolf. And you don't need to do the whole dungeon at all in order to get to the convector. You can actually find it right here at the very start of the dungeon. Just take out the Dwemer machines and we can just go ahead along your way. So once you get to the convector, just open it up and we're going to deposit the warped soul gem inside. You'll find this in the miscellaneous section of your inventory. So put the soul gem in and then equip the convector spell, which is in the destruction category of your magic spells. So literally just clean the crap out of that small Dwemer chest until the quest updates and then we can just go ahead and open it again. And then take the warp soul gem back out and the game will just say it didn't work and we have to try another convector. So we have to do this twice more guys. 
So turn around and exit this dungeon. And then we're just going to come across the hill from Resolved. And you'll find the next convector in this unmarked Dwemer storage room. It's literally just right next to it. And this is even easier than the last one. Just go on inside and we're going to do the exact same thing again guys. Put the warp soul gem in the convector, turn up the heat and then just take it out again. And thirdly and finally, one more time. Once we're done, we're going to head over to the next easy location to do this, which is over here on the map, just to the southwest of where we are now. At this small landmark location, you will also find some low-level bandits that you're going to need to dispatch when you arrive. Over here. What you gonna do? Huh? What you gonna do? Ah! Once they're dead, you will find the last convector just behind this wall here, hanging out on the side. So repeat and rinse the last steps I mentioned, and this time it successfully convects the warp soul gem. So after you're done, we must fast travel back to the college and speak to our good old pal Arniel. You look awful. Better not get Divines beat. Divines bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. I have your soul gem. It worked then. Let me see. Goodness, that's it, isn't it? Yes. It's not perfect, but it's a close enough approximation that it should certainly suffice for initial tests. You've done excellent work here. Truly excellent. There's only one thing missing now, and that should be arriving shortly. I'll begin preparations. Thank you again so much for this. So now guys, we must wait for the final part time. to arrive. So I suggest just fast traveling to Whiterun, and then once you get to Whiterun, just wait for two in-game days. It won't work if you wait in the college, you have to fast travel away, otherwise the next part of the quest won't stop. So after you've done that, just fast travel back to the college again, and go and speak to Anya again. This time, however, you will find him on the right side of the college when you enter the main gate. You look awful. Better not get enchanting services. Are one of the few Just go inside, go up the stairs here, and he's on the first room on the right here with all these boxes. Divines bless you. Have you unraveled the mystery of the dwarves yet? No. And at this rate, I never shall. Enther is once again holding out on me. He refuses to deliver yet another item absolutely essential to my work. I am close, so close. You must force him to see reason. What do you want me to say to Enther this time? I don't know, I don't know. I've already agreed to pay him quite handsomely for the, well, the item in question. Just... Do whatever it takes to get him to stop lording this over me. Uh-huh. You're holding out on Arnio again. Oh, by the divines, you too? I've already told him I don't have it. What sort of payment do you expect this time? Nothing, nothing at all. Arniel already overpaid for whatever it is. You're not listening to me. I don't have it. I set up the whole deal. A courier was supposed to be bringing it from Morrowind. He never arrived. Okay? The deal was already done. The thing just never showed up. I can't help that. What is Arneo even wanting you to get? I don't know. He never told me. He made most of the arrangements himself. He just needed it transported from Morrowind. That's what I agreed to help with. If I'd known it was so important to him, I'd have charged him more okay so where's the courier i don't know are you not listening at all it was a simple task so i didn't keep close tabs on it like i do with the dangerous stuff 
Last I'd heard, he was crossing the border from Morrowind into the Rift. If you're getting involved in this, that would be where you'd start looking. Why is this suddenly so important anyway? So now we know that the courier probably died mm. on his way over from Morrowind. The game will randomly decide out of some 20 possible locations where he died. So for me, it was at Pine Peak Cave, which is just here on the map. Really, this makes the courier look like he was just lost. But anyway, we're going to come to whatever location the game sends you, and then we're going to find the dead courier. And luckily for me, this was just a small cave. And of course, the courier was a dark elf native to Morrowind. So loot his corpse and you will find the unique dagger Keening, an incredible dagger with an extremely unique enchantment on it that you cannot actually learn. But I'll tell you more about this dagger later, guys. For now, though, we're just going to take this dagger back to Arniel. And once again, we'll find him in the same room with all the boxes in the College of Winterhold. Divines bless you. I have the dagger you wanted. The dagger? Duh! By Akatosh, they didn't even wrap it correctly. You didn't touch it, did you? Well, no. Of course you must have. Did you attempt to wield it? And you're not dead? Gods, it's a wonder it's in one piece. What's the big deal about this dagger anyway? This is not just a uh, dagger. What do you want? This is a dwarven oh, artifact beyond nearly all value. A singular instrument of immense power. A tool of impossible import. Keening and its counterpart, Sunder. Used by the tonal architects of the Dwimmer to tap into the heart of Lorcan. Okay, so you have everything you need now. I do. I do indeed. Keening, one of the great tools of Kagranak himself, is finally in my possession. I don't think I really believe this day would come. So what's next? Now... Now we see whether my theories are correct. I apologize if I have not been clear about my work. I didn't want to discuss it for fear this moment might never come. Everyone knows the dwarves disappeared. No one knows why. This little experiment is a first step in recreating the events of their disappearance in an effort to unravel that mystery. Lacking the heart of a dead god, I'm substituting the crystal you helped craft in its place. I also lack Sunder, the counterpart to the Dagger Keening. I am reasonably confident, however, that this will still work. I certainly don't expect it to have quite the same results. I'm no tonal architect, of course. Well, I suppose it's time, isn't it? Let's see what happens. You, uh, you may want to stand back a step or two. But please, don't leave. You've been instrumental in this process. I'd like you to see the results firsthand. Right then. Uh... Hmm, that... That didn't really do anything, did it? Perhaps a little harder. I don't understand. This should produce some notable effect. Work, damn you! So if you're wondering what happened there guys, I'm going to explain the lore behind it in a moment. It's probably one of the most significant pieces of evidence for how the Dwemer disappeared. But first guys, make sure you pick up Keening from the floor and then check your inventory because you'll find a secret spell has appeared in your conjuration list. The game doesn't even mention to you that this spell is added, but let's talk about this first, okay? The spell says it summons Arniel Shade. Now Arniel Shade is in fact arguably the most powerful summon in the entire game, especially if you use it on legendary difficulty, simply because, well, because of several reasons. So firstly, it costs no magicka to cast this spell at all. So it's useful to you no matter your character's build. I cannot think of a reason why you wouldn't use this summon if you're a tank, an archer, or a, a mage. Like, it's just so useful. And it also lasts for 60 seconds, and then you can just recast it for free again. And Arniel Shade will always last 60 seconds, because Arniel is invincible to physical attacks. So he pretty much cannot be killed. 
He works amazingly well versus giants and like dwarven centurions and other things that use physical attacks. Even though he does a lot of damage, he works really well as a decoy as well because enemies will still try to attack him even though their attacks pass straight through him. He's basically a ghost. So not only is he a great decoy, but he does a decent amount of damage too. Arniel Shade is level 40. He has 1000 magicka, so you can expect him to cast tons and tons of spells and never really run out of magicka. His destruction skill is also level 100, and most of the time he'll be casting chain lightning and a more powerful version of sparks. Most of the spells that he uses seems to be lightning spells, which is really good because no enemies in Skyrim have a resistance to shock spells. He's also meant to know fireball and heal other as well, but he never actually seems to use these spells. After testing him for like a few hours, I couldn't really get him to use those spells. There might be a mod that fixes this, but you know, I, I don't know. He does know the spell Banish Deidre, however, which is pretty useful, though it's very situational. So yeah. Arnold Shade is absolutely insanely good, and there's no reason not to use it. Then we also have the unique dagger though, called Keening, and this has a base damage of 8, which is 3 lower than the Ebony Blade, which has a base damage of 11. However, Keening has a unique enchantment, and when you actually hit someone with this enchantment guys, it has the coolest sort of rainbow particle effect. Like it's green, blue and red and it just looks awesome. And just so you know guys, this enchantment was fixed with the unofficial patch mod available on both PC, PS4 and Xbox One. So make sure you download it if you haven't already. Once you've installed that, the weapon will absorb 10 points of health, stamina and also magicka from your enemies making it infinitely useful but especially for mages because if you're a mage using this dagger you can constantly refill your health and your magicka in combat and then you can just run around with your spare stamina while casting spells at people then when you run out of magicka again you can just start slashing away to get it back really quickly. And obviously guys, I said at the start, this weapon has 8 damage, plus 10 damage, because it has an absorb health enchantment. So you're actually doing 18 damage to your enemies, which is as much damage as a dragon bone greatsword, apart from obviously you can't like add another enchantment on top. And once again guys, the dagger looks really, really cool. I mean, it's a legendary Dwemer artifact which is reflected in the fact it's worth 5,000 gold. So it ticks all the boxes, doesn't it? Even if you're not going to use it though, it's definitely display case worthy. So guys, now let's go back and talk about what happened with, with Arniel. Work, damn you! As I said before, this is one of the most significant pieces of evidence on how the Dwemer disappeared. And I could probably easily make a half an hour lore video on this, but this video has already gotten very long. And to be honest, I'd be surprised if quite a few people are still watching now. But um, it's a very complex topic. So basically, I'm going to summarize it or try to. But what happened when Arniel hit the warp soul gem is that he became bound to the closest thing in the room, which is you and arguably the warp soul gem as well but probably not. Because the soul gem was warped, it can't actually absorb Arniel's soul. Here's the gem Arniel was after. Can't imagine what he expects to do with that. It's warped beyond any ability to capture a soul. Which is why I think you, the Dragonborn, absorbs his soul instead. This is why you then get the power to summon Arniel's shade. So this provides us with somewhat of a case study on what happened to the Dwemer and why they all disappeared at once. So the situation was similar. A Dwemer High Priest called Kagrenak tried to tap into the heart of Lorcan using the Dagger Keening and some other Dwemer artifacts. And if you don't know guys, Lorcan is the god responsible for Nern's existence. So when this Dwemer priest successfully tapped into the heart of Lorcan, what happened was the whole Dwemer race that were at the time seeking survival were then bound to the nearest thing. And that would have been Numidium. And for those of you that don't know, because there's loads of strange words here, Numidium is a colossal humanoid golem. Like imagine a massive dwarven centurion. And this was built by the Dwemer priest Kagnarak. 
So the whole Dwemer race disappeared like we saw with Arniel and it's believed that they would have somehow been connected to Namidian and also Lorcan's heart. In theory, they would have transcended into godhood. They would have been like given some kind of divine status because of their binding connection with Lorcan's heart. So in theory, does that mean that Namidian could summon the entire Dwemer race? Kind of like we can with Arniel's shade. And also, there were actually ghosts in Morrowind. So there's other, there's so many sort of avenues you can explore with this topic, but I'm going to stop there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But that's a rough story of why this quest ending is so very significant in what actually happened to the Dwemer. But if you guys did get this far in the video, please comment like red eggs in the comment section just so I know that you actually watched this far. But once again guys, thank you so much for all your support. Feel free to subscribe if you like and check out the playlist down below with many more Skyrim unique video guides and I ESO will see you loyal subscribers in the next Skyrim guide. So have a fantastic day and goodbye.